Hello guys. Today we are going to be solving a very interesting inequation. We are going to be solving the inequation the absolute value of 2x minus 4 minus the absolute value of x plus 2 which is less than 6. And to solve this inequation I will start by defining the two absolute value functions in this inequation. So I will start by defining the absolute value of 2x minus 4. And we know that the absolute value of 2x minus 4 is equal to just 2x minus 4 if 2x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 or if x is greater than or equal to 2 or negative 2x minus 4 if 2x minus 4 is less than 0 or if x is less than 2. And I'll also define the absolute value of x plus 2, which is just x plus 2, if x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0, or if x is greater than or equal to negative 2, or negative into x plus 2, if x plus 2 is less than 0, or if x is less than negative 2. Now, at this level, I'm going to find the intersection of these intervals. I will look for the intersection of this pair of intervals here. Now, when you look at these first two intervals, x greater than or equal to 2 and x greater than or equal to negative 2, we can easily get the intersection, which is the set. I'm looking at these two branches. The intersection is just the set x greater than or equal to 2. You can get this intersection easily by using a normal line. If you take the first branch here and the last branch here, you discover that the intersection is an empty set because you cannot find a value which is greater than or equal to 2 and at the same time less than or equal to negative 2. Now let's look at these two branches. That is x less than 2 and x greater than or equal to negative 2. What do you think will be the intersection? The intersection at this level will just be the set, the interval negative 2 less than or equal to x, which is less than 2. And then the last branch, we're going to look at this and this. And if you get the intersection of these two, these two, you are going to obtain the set x less than negative 2. Good. At this level, you can partition the set of real numbers into three. This is what we are going to obtain. That is, if we take the set x such that x is less than negative 2, this one, union the set x such that negative 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 2, that is this one, union the set x such that x is greater than or equal to 2, we are going to obtain the set of real numbers. Good. Now, let's call this set A, call this one B, and call this one C. So we're going to find the subset of A, the subset of B, and the subset of C, which satisfy this given inequation. Let's call that subset of A X, the subset of B Y, and that of C, let's call it Z. So at the end, if you find x, y, and z, we are going to obtain the solution of this inequation by taking the union of these three sets, that is x, y, and z. So how do we find x? To find x, we are going to start with the set A. And A says that x is less than negative 2. And we know if x is less than negative 2, look at these two branches, if x is less than negative 2, then the absolute value of 2x minus 4 uh, the absolute value of 2x minus 4 will be negative into 2x minus 4 and uh, the absolute value of x plus 2 will be negative into x plus 2. 
Yes, from this interval. You know, if x is less than negative 2, the absolute value of 2x minus 4 will be equal to negative into 2x minus 4. Remember, x less than negative 2 is obtained from these two branches, this branch and this branch. Okay. This will mean that from this inequation, we are going to obtain negative into 2x minus 4 minus negative into x plus 2, which is less than 6. So this implies that negative 2x plus 4 plus x plus 2 will be less than 6. And if you simplify this, you are going to obtain negative x, which is less than 0. And if you divide both sides by negative 1, we are going to have x, which is greater than 0. Now, we are working in the set A, in this interval, and this is what we have obtained. So at this level, we must find the intersection of this and this. And clearly, if you use a normal line, you will see that the intersection is an empty set. There is no intersection between these two intervals. There's no value of x which is less than negative 2 and at the same time greater than 0. So the set x, our x here is just an empty set. We get to the set B. In B, we know that negative 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or, sorry, which is strictly less than 2. And we know that if x lies in this interval, then looking at these branches, looking at this, we know this interval is obtained from this last branch here and the first branch here. So if negative 2 is less than x, which is less than 2, then the absolute value of 2x minus 4 will be equal to negative into 2x minus 4. And the absolute value of x plus 2 will just be x plus 2. Therefore, the above inequation reduces to negative into 2x minus 4 minus x plus 2, which is less than 6. And so this implies that negative 2x plus 4 minus x minus 2 is less than 6. And if you simplify this, we're going to obtain negative 3x, which is less than 4. And if you divide both sides by negative 3, we're going to obtain x, which is greater than negative 4 on 3. Good. So remember, we are working in this set. So we are going to find the intersection of this and this in order to obtain our y. Okay, good. And to do that, I will represent these two intervals on the same number line. So I'll start with the first one. So here I have negative 2, and here I have 2. I know negative 4 on 3 is somewhere between 0 and negative 2. So let me represent it somewhere here, and negative 4 on 3. Good. So the first interval starts from negative 2, including negative 2, up to 2. Excluding 2. So that is the first interval. And the second interval is this. That is x greater than negative 4 on 3. So it starts from negative 4 upwards. Negative 4 on 3 upwards. Excluding negative 4 on 3. Good. So this is what we have. And so it shows that in this particular set, only values between negative 4 and on 3 and 2 will satisfy the given inequation. That is the intersection we have from here. So therefore, our y, that is the subset of B, is a set x such that negative 4 on 3 is less than x, which is less than 2. Then we continue with z. To find z, we must start with the set C, which is the interval 
above 2. So we know if x is greater than or equal to 2, then if x is greater than or equal to 2, then this is what we are going to obtain. The absolute value of 2x minus 4 will just be equal to 2x minus 4, and then the absolute value of x plus 2 will just be equal to x plus 2. Remember, x greater than 2 is the intersection of these two intervals here. Good. So, we are saying that if x is greater than or equal to 2, then the absolute value of 2x minus 4 will just be equal to 2x minus 4. And uh, the absolute value of x plus 2 will just be equal to x plus 2. Therefore, our inequation reduces to 2x minus 4 minus x plus 2, which is less than 6. And so this implies that 2x minus 4 minus x minus 2 is less than 6. And if you simplify this, you are going to obtain x, which is less than 12. Good. So we are in this particular set, in this set, and this is what we have obtained. So we need to take the intersection of these two to find our z. So this is 2, and here we have 12. So this is the first set. x is greater than 2, so we are working in this given set. And we have seen here that only values less than 12 will satisfy the above inequation. So the intersection is our z. So therefore, we are saying that the set z is a set x such that 2 is less than x, which is less than 12. Good. So therefore, if the absolute value of 2x minus 4 minus the absolute value of x plus 2 is less than 6, then the solution set will be given by x union y union z, which is the set. Remember, our x is an empty set. So we have the empty set union, the set y is the set x such that negative 4 and 3 is less than x, which is less than 2. So we have uh, x such that negative 4 on 3 is less than x, which is less than 2. 2 is part of this set. Yes, the intersection of these two sets includes 2. Okay, union... They said x such that 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 12. Good. So remember, if you take the set A union, an empty set, you are going to obtain only A. And so if you take the union of these three sets, our answer will be the interval from negative 4 on 3 right up to 2, and starting again from 2, including 2, right up to 12. So the, inter the intersection is just the set negative 4 on 3, which is strictly less than x and less than 12. Good. So we are saying that the solution set to this inequation is this set. Good. So you can verify. You can use other methods. There are other methods. You can use the graphical method. And there are other algebraic methods that can be used. Thanks for watching the video and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.